This is it, the Alpine Lodge. This is, uh, where is it? Set number 10325, 1500 pieces. What a pretty set. I think this thing is gonna look great at the bottom of the ski slope. It's got some other fun features in it that we can include, snowmobiles, all sorts of stuff like that. But here's my complaint about it. I mean, I don't know if it's a fair complaint. This is what Lego likes to do. The open back for, you know, playability and all of that, which is totally fine for Lego and their sets. But I think it's going to look better in, excuse me, in my city, in my winter village, if it's closed off. So how can we solve this problem? I'll tell you how we can solve this problem. We went to the Lego store. Check this out. What did we get? Oh, yeah. We got another one. So now we're looking at two Alpine Lodges. We're going to go to rebrickable.com yet again. Brick Artisan, what a wonderful designer, has a combination of two of these Alpine Lodges that has, you know, fully enclosed all the way around. So we're going to do that. But while we're at it, Lego was running a pretty good promotion right now. And they had some pretty good stuff on the pick-a-brick wall. So check this out. They had little pine trees. So I blasted through all my pine trees making that ski slope. And we're still going to need a bunch more for a Christmas tree farm, stuff like that. So now we've got some more uh, pine trees. And they also had these 1x4 dark blue trans tiles, which I think will be great for ice, maybe an ice skating rink, stuff like that. I had to get to $130 to qualify for freebies. So we actually did, I took uh, a bunch more trees. So I've got, this one is mostly the tiles, but there are more trees in there. So I've got some trees, I've got some tiles. I got the Alpine Lodge, which makes two, but that totaled $130. So what'd we get? We got the VIP Christmas pack, which you qualify for, for another week or so. Uh, with $50 purchases. So this has all sorts of fun Christmassy elements in it, which we will definitely take advantage of. And we also qualified for what I think is going to be long-term a really uh, good set value-wise, the Galileo Galilei Ideas Set, 307 pieces, 40595. Looks like a fun little build. So I don't know what we'll do with this. We're not going to build it right away. I don't know if we'll hold on to it and see what happens with the value or whatever. But really a good giveaway, I think. So two pick brick cups, a Galileo set, an Alpine Lodge, and a Christmas VIP pack all for $130. These promotions are going on for a little while longer on the Lego store, at Lego stores and online. You should definitely check them out for now. We have two Alpine Lodges that we now have to sort all the pieces for because, of course, on Rebrickable, they could be using any piece from any bag at any time. So being well sorted before starting the build is important. So that's what we're getting after now. All right, while I sort out some of these parts, just real quick, if you've never used Rebrickable.com, it's awesome. It's a, it's a website where you can go and look up any Lego set and people have taken the pieces out of that set and rebuilt things in their own way and then put the directions online for you. In some cases, they're free. In some cases, they're pay to use. But either way, it's a great opportunity to take a set that maybe you're bored with or you have multiple copies of and build something new. That way, you don't always have to go and spend a bunch of money at the Lego store for something new. All right, I finished sorting the very first box of the Alpine Lodge. I've got about a dozen categories here. Note that I did not sort by color. It's a nightmare trying to find a specific piece when it's buried in all black, for example. Uh, so I've sorted by category here. We've got minifigure parts. We've got plants. We've got tiny pieces, technic, arches, slopes. Uh, we got some trans. The plates and the bricks are kind of large, but it shouldn't be too bad. Some doors some snot pieces, uh, three notable pieces I thought you might want to see in case you don't have it or you haven't seen it yet. The little pine trees in dark green. I've never seen that before, but uh, very much. I'm going to be looking forward to putting that into place. Check out these. This is what's going to make this thing a uh, you know a log cabin. These dark orange 
one by four, I'm not even sure what to call them. They're obviously not tiles, but they're smooth on top, rounded, they're like half logs. So I've got like a whole pile of these that are gonna be used to make this thing into a true uh, log cabin, which is fun. And then check this little guy out. Little tiny red bird. I've seen this in a couple of other colors, but this is my first look at this thing in red. I don't know if it's a cardinal or not, but we'll go with cardinal. It's red after all. So that was another fun piece. I think we'll have a lot of uses even above and beyond this set. The only problem I've got is I've got a whole nother box to sort and I'm running out of table space. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start building this thing out of the pieces that I have here. See how far I can get. See if I can clear off some table space. And then once I get to the point where I don't have a piece because it is in the unsorted box, then we'll have to do some more sorting. But for now, we get to start building. We're going to do it on a mills plate with a white top so that this Alpine Lodge goes straight into a snowy ground. Mills plate is made. Let's get building. Well, I didn't get very far. <laughs> I need some more of these uh, big tan plates to make this happen. So step four is where I got before I have to start opening up box number two. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know if it's just like that time of year or if this is just like a really awesome build, but it did not take me long to get hooked on this Alpine Lodge two times build. It's already got some fun exterior here, simple enough, but the Christmassy details on the inside are already amazing. It's got a little fireplace over here. There's going to be four of these dark red lounge chairs. I just haven't built them all yet, but there's all sorts of little like cookies and icings and decorating kits. Look over here. I don't know how well this is showing up, but we've got like a a coffee perker over here. We've got some, I don't know, creamers or frostings for cookies or whatever, but it just feels very festive so far. Long, long way to go on this thing, but I am very much starting to feel sort of the Christmas spirit, the winter village Lego spirit. I don't know if the Alpine Lodge survives past this year or not, but here's my recommendation for those that want a fun Lego holiday experience this year. I'm already hooked. Go pick up two Alpine Lodges if it works for you. Go to Rebrickable.com and find the Brick Artisan directions and see what you can do about this. Even if you build it slowly over the next couple of months... Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. I mean, obviously I haven't gotten very far, but I'm already hooked. If you want to wait a little longer, I've heard there are some really good gift with purchases coming for VIP weekend or insiders weekend on November 18th and 19th. So in theory, you could buy two Alpine lodges and get some sweet gift with purchases that I think will include yet another holiday set maybe a castle set, and maybe even two times points. So November 18th and 19th, that's where I'm saving my money to spend it. Lots of good gift with purchases, two times points, hard to beat that. But hey, I'm here starting to get into that holiday spirit. This is going to fit nicely at the bottom of the ski lodge. Hope you're starting to sense a little Christmas spirit as well, wherever you are. I think it's going to be a fun two months for my winter village. All right, two times Alpine Lodge is now complete. Let's take a quick tour of this thing for anybody that is interested in seeing it or might be considering buying it. First floor is beautiful. We've got some signs on the outside. Again, I'm not sure how this compares to the original Alpine Lodge. I assume that it's very similar to what half the Alpine Lodge looks like, but just kind of mirror imaged. It felt like there was a lot of mirror image building going on in here, but the exterior is very nice. The interior is super fun. We've got four lounge chairs with some cookie decorating going on in there. 
We've got the staircase, which I will note is a little touchy. It doesn't actually connect at the top there, which is a little dicey. Uh, we have got a coffee machine with some cookies and decorating stuff going on over here, a little fireplace. The interior is super fun, really like it. The second story is over here now. You'll notice that the chimney continues on, and this is kind of like the top of the lodge where people can find a place to sleep for the night, resting after they ski. There are what appears to be a king bed with you know two pillows there, and then a couple of smaller, maybe single beds, so that a family of four could stay up here. The stairs continue on, but again, you can probably tell from this angle, they don't connect at the top, which to me is a little bit hairy. Uh, I had a little bit of a hard time building that and getting it to stay in place, but I think it's in there now. We'll see when we put this thing on. Uh, the log cabin on the exterior portion is super fun, but I will note, you can see there's some holes in there. The directions were really hard to follow. Part of the problem is in the directions, these one by two uh, log pieces have a line coming down the middle as if they're actually two different one by one pieces. So it's really hard to tell which ones are supposed to go where. There's another blank there. So I need to tweak these and see if I can get this thing put together in the way it's supposed to be done. I have one extra one by four log piece at the end. So obviously there's sort of a summation of four total studs that are incorrectly done in here, and I'm not sure exactly how it goes. But we've got some fun animals on the outside, the cardinals. We've got a couple of kind of decks that you can go out and look out on. I love the way the snow has accumulated on the handrails. We've got some squirrels in here. Super nice. The roof, well, let's see if we can get this thing on here. We need to line up the uh, chimneys here, and then we'll try to get this thing to go on without destroying the whole thing. It should go something about like that, I think. So you can see what two stories look like. The roof pieces, you can see, are very nicely designed with lots of snow accumulating on the roof. Some really nice, uh, greenery here and then there is as I noted one more staircase here so it goes up into kind of a lofty area where even more people can sleep a couple more beds there with a candle and the same thing for that roof piece as well I guess there's no beds over there but a little writing place a little mat to sleep on stuff like that super fun so let's see if we can get this on correctly this is the non-stair piece. So that's gotta go, I think, like that. I'm trying to do this without completely destroying it. I may not push too hard and correct this afterwards. You can see there's a hole for the stairs there. So that's gotta be this side. And this is gonna go something about like that. Again, I'm not gonna push too hard on this because I've only got one hand, but there it is, on a mills plate. I'll spin this around a couple times so you can see it. This lodge looks fantastic. We're gonna do a little bit of tweaking of it to try and get the log cabin piece looking just right. But overall, this is going to be the lodge that goes at the bottom of the ski hill, which we'll put in place a little bit later today. I'm loving it. I think this was worth every penny. I do have a bunch of pieces left over. Not because uh, I did anything wrong, but because I left out the ice skating rink. There is a double ice skating rink that uses these kind of strange trans pieces. I've forgotten what they're called, but they're not perfectly trans. They've got kind of like sparkles in them or something. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna build this double ice skating rink. I may save these pieces to make a bigger ice skating rink somewhere in the Winter Village. So eventually that will happen, but they also come with obviously one 
set would come with one little snowmobile and sled. So we got two of them because we were building a double set. So those can be used to be cruising around the winter village as well, carrying whatever, supplies, trees, whatever, around our winter village. Very, very pleased with my decision to snag two of these. Uh, I love when buildings are fully enclosed. And so this thing takes up a full 32 by 32 base plate. I think it looks great. In theory, there is a uh, couple of light up bricks in there, but I don't want to start pushing on things with only one hand. So I'm not going to show you that part. But it's beautiful, guys. Winter Village coming along. I hope you'll continue to follow along with my adventure of building the Winter Village. If you enjoyed this review, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because there's much, much more to come. Updates on the Winter Village. I appreciate you hanging out with Brick Scavenger. We'll see you next time.